There are nearly 60 million smartphones in the country, so never before have so many people been watching exactly the same thing in this country at the same time. It's more attention than you get for a pandemic briefing, for a royal wedding, for a World Cup final. The difference with those, of course, is that you choose to watch them. In this case, with this new system, the government instead demands our attention. Critics have said the alerts themselves could put people's safety at risk, including drivers who may become distracted, and domestic violence victims who keep a secret phone. But others say similar technology has long been used in other countries and that it will help public safety. I always think it's better to be safe than sorry in these situations. So I know there are libertarians out there who don't want this to happen. Uh, you know, they're going to turn it all off and all the rest of it. But they, they might think twice when, when they wake up and, the, you know, the bottom of their bed's burning in a wildfire or the, the water's seeping, you know, into the, into the bottom rooms or something, that kind of scenario. The government said it was aware that a very small proportion of people did not receive any alert, and it would work with mobile operators to understand why. For a Sunday afternoon, it was an interruption on a grand scale. Normal service, though, quickly resumed. Tom Cheshire, Sky News, Twickenham, South West London.